right, so in this video, we're going to look at the transpose of a matrix. The idea is really, really simple. We swap the rows and the columns of the matrix. All right, so let's look at uh, a matrix so you can see what it looks like when we find the transpose of that matrix. All right, so there's our matrix. Pretty easy to see there. Now, when we find the transpose, that's shown with A dash. So that's matrix A. A dash just means the transpose. And the way to find the transpose is to take our first column and write it in our new matrix as the first row and then take our second column and write it in our new matrix as the second row so you can see this corresponds with that this corresponds with that so when we find the transpose, the rows and the columns swap, also the order swaps. So this has gone from being a three by two matrix to a two by three matrix. Now, why would you want to do this? Um, now, there's some highly technical mathematical reasons that you might want to do this, but that's way beyond the scope of our syllabus. But there is a really good reason that you would want to do something like this. If you're doing sort of an application here, you can see this is like an auto parts shop. Uh, this is my shop and I sell 20 wiper blades, 10 brake fluid, 8 floor mats. And these are the prices. Uh, these are my usual prices for those items. These are my discount prices for those items. Now look at these matrices. Uh, this is a 2 by 3 matrix and this is a uh, 1 by 3 matrix. Now, I can't take those two matrices and combine them together, even though you can see they have a, a similar headings here and here. However, if I take the transpose of one of those matrices, all right, so now if we have a look here, what we have is a two by three matrix here and a three by one matrix here. Now, if I multiply those two together, I'm going to get a two by one matrix over here. And you can see those wiper blade, those wiper blade things, they fall out of your matrices. And what you end up with is a combined matrix here. Only possible, however, if I'd taken that first matrix and transposed it. So that's how you transpose. Uh, this is why you would transpose.